step into the world of the 1950 film Harvey and meet Elwood P. Dowd, a friendly man whose best friend is a six foot three five inch invisible rabbit. As you watch, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions from laughter to shock to heartwarming moments. The invisible star of the movie plays a central role in this tale, leading us to ponder out of the many characters which one became your favorite. The ensemble cast weaves a story full of funny, shocking, and touching moments that keep you glued to the screen. Now, as you enjoy the unfolding narrative, think about your most beloved memory or personal experience related to this classic film. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What made Harvey special for you? So, are you ready to explore the world of Elwood P. Dowd and his invisible friend? Stick around for more fascinating facts and moments. Keep watching and share your thoughts with us. The 1950 film Harvey had a lasting effect on cinema, telling the story of Elwood P. Dowd, who forms a bond with an invisible rabbit. The tale of friendship, acceptance, and the blurred line between reality and imagination continues to capture audiences today. The movie delves into mental health, challenging societal views on sanity, as Elwood's unwavering belief in Harvey prompts viewers to question what is real. This sheds light on the stigma around mental health. Harvey also highlights the power of kindness and compassion. Despite Elwood's unconventional behavior, his warmth and empathy endear him to those around him, encouraging viewers to embrace empathy and acceptance. The performances in the film, especially James Stewart's portrayal of Elwood, contribute to its impact. Stewart's heartfelt depiction of a man with eccentricity, masking profound wisdom, adds depth to the narrative. In summary, Harvey remains relevant due to its timeless themes, compelling characters, and thought-provoking exploration of mental health and human connection. Its lasting influence serves as a reminder of the power of imagination, kindness, and acceptance in a straightforward world. Following her heartfelt speech upon winning the Oscar, Josephine Hall thanked Harvey warmly. The movie she starred in had some great actors James Stewart and Josephine Hall, who both won Oscars, and Cecil Calloway, who was nominated for one. Calloway, who was Peter Calloway's dad, was important not just in movies, but also in medicine. He helped a lot with a test called EG, which doctors used to help diagnose problems. He was even asked to talk about EG results in court during Jack Ruby's trial for killing Lee Harvey Oswald, who was blamed for President John F. Kennedy's death. This cool connection shows how different talents and backgrounds came together to make a great movie. Hollywood glitz mixing with science progress shows how people can do many things. It's a reminder that behind every good movie, there are interesting stories and talents. People like Kellaway keep inspiring us in both art and science. In the end, the story behind the movie is as interesting as the movie itself. It shows how talented people, both on and off screen, made something special. And as we celebrate these achievements, we remember those who made a difference for us and for the future. In the film Harvey, various actors were considered for the role of Elwood P. Dowd, including Bing Crosby, Cary Grant, Rudy Valley, Joe E. Brown, Gary Cooper, Jack Benny, Jack Haley, and James Cagney. Veda mentions Elwood's zodiac sign is Taurus the Bull, which aligns with James Stewart's birth date on May 20. Veda Simmons aims to sue Dr. Chumley for $100,000, equivalent to about $177,000 in the year 2022. The movie offers an engaging exploration of whimsy and human perception. In his first film project, Fess Parker starred in a movie that introduced audiences to the enigmatic character of Elwood. Elwood, in conversation with Mrs. Chumley, likened Harvey to a puka, a creature from Irish and Nordic mythology known to bring either good or bad tidings. This creature could take the form of various animals or even a human and was generally friendly and helpful. Despite its success at the box office, the film struggled to recoup its production costs, mainly due to the hefty $1 million price tag for the rights to the play. Nonetheless, it garnered attention for its unique portrayal of Elwood and his peculiar friend. In her most famous role as Myrtle Mee Simmons, she charmed audiences with her portrayal as a long-haired blonde. Mrs. Chauvinet, a character in the story, revealed a surprising connection by saying Elwood went to Yale University. But the real James Stewart, who played Elwood, actually went to Princeton, graduating in 1932 at age 23. Despite this difference, James Stewart did a great job as Elwood. He even won a big award for his performance on Broadway in 1970. Harvey is loved not just for its fun story, but also because of the great acting, especially by Stewart. 
He was amazing both in movies and on Broadway, showing how talented he was. In short, James Stewart's role in Harvey is a reminder of how good he was as an actor. It's a story that will keep captivating audiences for a long time. This piece was, in an interview, James Stewart mentioned that Josephine Hall had a tough role in the movie because she had to believe and doubt an invisible rabbit at the same time. This shows how challenging her performance was and how well she understood her character's view of reality. When the play Harvey moved from the stage to the screen, Mary Chase, the playwright, and Brock Pemberton, the producer, made a big money deal. They were supposed to get a lot of money each year for 10 years and a share of the movie's profits. However, the movie couldn't start until the play finished its run. Sadly, Pemberton died in March of the year they were supposed to start production, adding a sad note to the movie's journey. Before this film, Josephine Hall had a long and successful career on Broadway for 50 years, going from stage to screen in both Arsenic and Old Lace, and this film showed her skill in bringing her theatrical characters to life in movies. This solidified her reputation as a talented actress. Henry Koster, director of Harvey, fulfilled a promise to Peggy Morin by featuring her sculptured head in the film. This scene lasts almost two minutes without a cut. Josephine Hull, who played Veda Simmons, had a brother in the film, but was 31 years younger than her in real life. In 2000, Harvey Weinstein and Bob Weinstein announced plans for a remake starring John Travolta, but it was never made. The movie Harvey, based on a play by Mary Chase, isn't set in Indiana as many people think. It actually takes place in Grand Junction, Colorado. You can tell because there are little clues in the movie like mentions of the Western Slope water board and real addresses from Grand Junction. James Stewart did a great job in the main role and got nominated for an Oscar, even though the movie itself didn't get nominated for Best Picture. Even though some people might think the story happened somewhere else, Grand Junction is the perfect place for it. The pretty scenery and small town feel make the story about Elwood P. Dowd and his imaginary friend even better. Peggy Dow and one other actor are the only ones left from the main cast. They still have a connection to the movie, which shows how much people still like it, even after many years. It's amazing how a story about friendship with someone you can't see still makes people happy when they watch it. So, even though Harvey might not be where you'd expect, it's still a great movie with a special message that people love. The movie Harvey follows the story of a man named Elwood P. Dowd who has an imaginary friend, a six-foot, three-inch tall rabbit. Dr. and Mrs. Chumley, characters in the movie, travel in a 1942 Cadillac limousine, the last model sold before World War II. In 1990, James Stewart, the lead actor, recorded an introduction for the VHS release, which became one of the highest-selling videos of that year. The film gained recognition, ranking seven on the American Film Institute's list of the top 10 fantasy films in June 2008. Its enduring popularity reflects its timeless appeal and memorable characters.